The schools are terribly important. The first school <coughs> was called Studley Knoll in Torquay. And the nuns, well, it's a French order, recruiting Catholic, um, Catholic nuns, sorry, recruiting nuns from Ireland. So it's French and Irish. And at that time, as you might know from social reading, there was a very strong, as it were, sectarian attitude in the Catholic Church. You know, you were inside or you were out, and mm -hmm. heaven was only you know, inhabited by Catholics, and the rest had to look out for themselves. <laughs> But I loved the school, I really enjoyed it very, very much. And um, obviously, I, obviously I was very well taught. When, when I left at 12, when my mother died, she, before she died, she handed us over to the school that she had been at, which mm. was in London, Roehampton. Mm. And my father came to live in Marlow, which so he mm. could drive up to see us and drive us back and down. And so I was well educated for that school by that time, you know, I had had a good start. Mm -hmm. And um, that wasn't as an academic school in any sense, much less really than the little Irish French ones on the other side. The, the nuns really despised the world mm -hmm. and the examination system was some of the worldly things that one shouldn't be bothering about too much. Mm -hmm. But they did it because they got a grant for coming up to certain academic standards in those days, educational standards. Quite a big grant, it was important for them. So we were prepared for exams. They weren't terribly important compared with singing, music, and um, practically nothing else really. Religion, doctrine was terribly important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and they so loved teaching us theology that we, we enjoyed it very much, mm. like all the children did. Mm. And that was the sort of rather, uh, I'm not sure what the adjective is, but a rather heavy version of Catholicism, none of the sort of subtle varieties that you get, say, from the Jesuits. Oh, no, it's a Jesuit education, actually. It was, ah. I'm glad you, I'm glad you raised that. I might have given that. No, and I'm, all my life I've continued to come across the problems they talked about and find that they really were very far ahead mm. on the theological solutions to enigmas and mysteries mm. and problems. Mm. They were extremely good and um, and subtle, yeah. Mm. Ah. Um, the order was founded by an, a woman who was, whose father, whose, whose brother was a Jesuit and it adopted a lot of the Jesuit rule and they kept mm. in close touch as a sister community to the Jesuits over the road at Manresa, so, mm. so that um, we always felt that we were part of the Jesuit outfit generally. Mm. 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 And we did get the subtle mm. um, theological casu the casuistry, mm. which is so important, I think. Mm. So do you think in terms of sort of developing your intellectual interests that that was important? Oh, crucial, absolutely mm. crucial, yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I always... Um, I know that the doctrine was because of all the metaphysical questions it opened up for one and, and ways of talking about them too. But the um, and the strong confidence of faith because they had warned you against all what, what belief meant and what unbelief meant. You didn't have to bother too much, you know. They were not. We were very much warned against scrupulosity and other sorts of wonderful words like that.